Live, local, now. A lot of people still talking about this. You may have seen a large balloon floating over the Las Vegas Valley recently. And no, it was not a weather balloon or a UFO. <laughs> it was a special kind of research balloon. 8 News Now's Ryan Tismaneski joining us live after speaking to the balloon's operators to learn exactly what its mission is. Ryan. Kirsten, Denise, if I say the words space radiation, you may think I'm talking about some kind of science fiction movie. Well, as it turns out, yesterday's sighting was a little less fiction and a lot more science. That balloon's mission is to track space radiation where planes fly. W. Kent Tabiska and the team at Space Environment Technologies are using the balloons to create a system that can track solar radiation levels at different altitudes in real time. And after years of research, they proved they can do it over the weekend. As of last Saturday, it was uh, the first week, and we've, uh, we've actually demonstrated that. All of our data is coming down in real time. To help explain how space radiation affects us while we're flying, I've designed my own little not-to-scale altitude chart. I've got my little airplane, and I've even origami-crafted my own measurement balloon. That's made out of paper. The dots on the chart represent how dense air is. When air is dense, radiation is absorbed. The higher you go, there's less air, which means there's more radiation. Those squiggly lines. Another factor that can affect space radiation is solar storms, which is one of the reasons Tobiska's team is creating a real-time radiation tracker. Pilots will be able to say, oh, okay, there's a big storm going on here. We're going to fly, you know, 3,000 feet lower. You know, that'll reduce our... our radiation level by half. Tobiska says they expect to have their around the clock radiation monitoring system up and running in about two years. Reporting live from near the strip, Ryan Tismaneski, 8 News Now.